Hey guys, Hardware Hobbyist back again. This is Bill here. This is Max. What's up? Um, right now, we're going to be bringing you guys a second video in our unboxing selection of our custom PC buying guide. So, in this video, we're going to be going over fans, specifically computer case fans. Basically, what you want to look for, um, where you might want to look, because it's, you know it can be confusing, especially with manufacturers, you know, just touting their specifications without you know having any evid any evidence <laughs> not calling yeah. anyone out okay so right now we're going to be unboxing the fans that we're going to be using in our rig um what are they max these are the scythe s flex fans um they're 1200 rpm so the mid-level i think they go from like 800 to 1900 and um these have uh, fluid dynamic bearings which um as opposed to sleeve bearings will create uh, more airflow with less sound. They're slightly more expensive though, but uh, case fans are not something that you want to go cheap on because they'll deteriorate early, and um, the noise levels you'll you won't be happy with the noise levels. Mm -hmm. So these are adjustable fan speeds. So um, in the future, if you wanted to buy like a fan controller um, to kind of increase or decrease the speed depending on what you're doing, um, that'd be an option as well. So let's go ahead and unbox this. Right. They're actually really well packaged too. Some fans you'll see they just come in bubble wrap, but these actually have their own case, sort of plastic case thing. And these look really nice. So let's see what they come with. Alright, so here you have your four fan screws, just standard silver ones. And you can purchase these separately if you want to have like a color scheme or something. You can buy any color you want for very cheap. And um, here it comes with an adapter, which is a 3-pin to 4-pin Molex adapter. And um, motherboards will have a few slots um, for the 3-pins. But if you want to have um, a large amount of fans, then sometimes it's easier to use the power supply's Molex connectors. And here's the fan itself. Um, has a standard length cable. It's not very long, so uh, what I like to do actually is buy an extension that can plug into one three-pin slot on the motherboard, and then have branches that go to like four different fans, and that makes it really easy to uh, cable manage as well because you have extra cables, extra uh, cable length. So this fan is very plain. There's no stickers on the front at all, but on the back there is a pretty big one. Um, on my main computer, I, I had to actually remove this, which is really easy to do. You just peel it off, and there wasn't any residue left over. But I had them facing up, and I didn't want to see the sticker. So that was no problem at all, and it's really easy to do, and I'm very happy with them. So hopefully these will be great, too. Okay, um, one thing you might want to look for um, for your fan, especially when you're installing them, is uh, the, these arrows. I don't know if you guys can see them, but these arrows basically show the direction of um, the airflow. So in this case, uh, what we got the top arrow. So this side is going to be the intake. Yep. And um, the other side is, you know, going to be the exhaust. Um, Pretty much standard. Whichever side has the um, these little crossbars that will hold the motor in place. As you can see on the front, it doesn't have it, but on the back there are these four ones that will hold the motor there. The side with the crossbars is the out um, the outtake. Yeah. So it'll push in here and come out there. Uh huh. Okay, so we're actually going to be doing something pretty cool. In a later video, we're going to be doing a push pull configuration. Um, so we'll get into that. Um, so yeah, pretty nice fans. Um, your fan should come with uh, the necessary things to install it, such as um, the four screws. I'd be a little careful screwing them in because some fans may strip easily. Strip meaning um, if you screw it in wrong once, um, you're kind of screwed because it's already molded the shape of the plastic. Good pun. <laughs> sure, yeah. <laughs> um, and again, um, Scythe is nice enough to include some uh, adapters depending on whether you want to plug the fan directly into your motherboard or plug it into your power supply. Okay, so that concludes our unboxing. Um, now we're just going to go over some things to look for when you're buying a fan. Alright guys, so right now we're going to give you guys um, basically what you want to look for when you're buying fans. Um, I basically want to go over these specs over here. 
So as you can see, this scythe fan that we're going to be using is a 1200 RPM. RPM stands for rotations per minute. Basically how fast the, um, the fan spins. And typically, you know, the faster it spins, the more air it's going to move. But um, depending on um, the quality of the fan, just because it has a super high RPM does not necessarily mean that it's going to move air than um, another fan. Um, so the next spec is a uh, CFM that basically stands for what? Cubic feet per minute, I believe. Yep. So basically how much air it's moving per minute. Um, again, you know, the higher the better in general. Um, and also the noisier. So you want to find a, a good balance between your airflow and your noise. Uh huh. And speaking of noise, the next rating is uh, decibels. Basically how loud the fan is. In this case, it's 20.1. Um, which is actually pretty silent, but again, you can't, you don't necessarily want to trust the manufacturer specifications, which brings me to um, basically how you want to browse for your fans. In general, what um, we recommend here at Hardware Hobbies is basically just checking out, you know, um, reviews, which are always good, from top hardware selling sites such as Newegg. So Newegg, for instance, you got a computer hardware, um, fans and heat sinks. Don't know if you guys can actually read that, but um, if you're watching this, you probably know what Newegg is. Newegg.com, great site. Um, so here, basically, a bunch of case fans. You know, you want to sort them by best rating. Um, the best one here is a cheap, masculine fan. Hey, if it gets a job done. Um, quick thing I want to note before I get on to some other ways of researching is basically fan size. The fans we're going to be using are 120 millimeter which is currently standard, um, getting more popular are 140mm uh, fans or 14cm fans um, but definitely when you're looking to buy a case you want to check out what size fans it uses um, they can range anywhere from like 80mm all the way up to like 200mm like we showed in um, our half case for um, the top exhaust yeah a lot of times it's nice if you buy the case first like if you're gonna space out your build and buy parts uh, separately because it can be hard sometimes to, to uh, look at the pictures and see the specifications online to see exactly um, what fans you need to buy to fit their uh, slots. So having an actual case in front of you makes it a lot easier and um, will eliminate any chance of you buying um, like mis-sized fans. Mm -hmm. Okay, another site, um, again, Amazon. We like it because they have pretty fast shipping, especially with Amazon Prime. Um, so again, you know, go to their electronic section, computer, and computers and accessories, and desktop components, cooling fans, but in general what you guys want to look for in terms of cooling fans are basically looking at reviews. Um, if you're a little bit more enthusiast, go on to sorry, forums such as overclock.net, evga.com, um, you know if you make a post there, or even Newegg's own forums, um, basically make a post there. There are a lot of knowledgeable people um, and they're willing to help you out. And of course, um, Google's your best friend, or if you're not a fan of them, um, Bing. <laughs> uh, in the future, Max and I will be implementing kind of um, a PC buying guide that we'll keep updated, um, like in our guide section of our website. But again, right now we're kind of um, still working on it, so that'll be up later. Um, but yeah, basically you guys want to be researching the fans you want and keep a lookout for uh, those specifications. Alright, there's one more site that I think is good for um, specifically buying fans and components like that and that is um, performancepcs.com. I've used them a lot before. Uh, they're based in Florida so um, shipping, uh, it does cost uh, some but it's pretty worth it because they have um, some obscure case fans that you won't find in other places. So if you go to fans and accessories, as you can see here they have a huge list. They have um, so many different options and you can search for exactly what you want and you can find all your you can find UV fans if you want to put UV lights in there or get fancy with the LED fans things like that and um, also fan grills they sell them here too and these are kind of important because they will protect your fans um, I don't know I've done this before but when you're working on a computer and sometimes you open it when it's on and then um, like my finger it will hit the fan and then uh, I'll go like, oh shoot, because fans are very fragile, especially when they're moving and you want to keep the bearings life as long as possible. So um, grills can actually look pretty nice too while protecting the fan's life. Mm -hmm. 
If you guys are looking for um, kind of getting more into it and doing some custom stuff, we're going to have a video on that later. Um, especially like I know Max was big into um, case modding, you know, especially getting these high performance fans and, you know, modding them, you know, spray painting, etc, etc, etc. But that'll be in a later video. So that concludes our fan portion of our um, part unboxing selection of our custom PC building guide. <laughs> so this is Harder Hobbyist signing out. Um, yeah, see you guys. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and visit our website. Thanks.